subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Pip is the package installer for Python, and it is used to install and manage Python packages. It makes it easy to install and uninstall packages, as well as manage dependencies for your Python projects. In this tutorial, we will explore the basic usage of pip install in the current environment, along with some code examples. Before we begin, make sure you have python and pip installed on your system. You can check if you have pip installed by running the following command in your terminal or command prompt. If pip is not installed, you can install it by following the instructions on the official python website, installing pip. To install a package using pip, open your terminal or command prompt and use the following syntax. Replace package underscore name with the name of the package you want to install. For example, to install the requests package, you can use. This command will download and install the requests package and its dependencies. You can also install a specific version of a package. Specify the version using the following syntax. For example, to install version 2.25.1 of requests, use. To upgrade an already installed package to the latest version, use the upgrade option. For example, to upgrade requests to the latest version, use. You can also install packages listed in a requirements file. Create a file named requirements.txt with each package on a new line, and then run. This is useful for managing dependencies in larger projects. Let's create a simple Python script that uses the requests library to make an HTTP request. First, install the requests library. Now, create a file named HTTP underscore request underscore example dot py and add the following code. Save the file and run it using. This script makes a simple HTTP GET request to HTTPS colon slash slash www.example.com using the requests library. Congratulations! You've successfully learned the basics of using pip install in the current environment with a practical code example. ChatGPT